Hey folks, this is Troy here at SwagOffRoad.com. I'm going to show you all an interesting contraption that I just devised. Uh, nothing too exotic, but it is uh, using a few of the products that I sell. Uh, I have some initial prototype bracketry we're using to clamp down this 8-ton uh, Harbor Freight Ram. Some uh, Frankenstein looking springs from Home Depot to uh, retract the ram. What I'm doing is broaching, which is adding an internal keyway. Seen here is a broaching tool. It has a series of progressive teeth. I start out there, you see the distance is relatively minor. Progressively gets bigger. And eventually it will carve a rectangle path in the center of these uh, roller dies that I sell. So from this point forward, uh, broaching the dies will be uh, something I do across the board for every die set. Uh, I'll be getting ri rid of one of these set screw holes and adding the internal keyway. So how it's done is I put in this bushing. I broach it one time all the way through. And then I insert this spacer right here. And then I broach it again. And then because this bushing is not wide enough, I'll do the exact same procedure on the other side, that way the uh, square cut out is consistent on both sides. Anyhow, I will shut up and uh, you can watch. Hook up my air hose. Oh, I forgot to add, I also use a lot of cutting fluid on this stuff. Otherwise, it kills the teeth.
There she is. She's fully keyed. Now I have a internal hex keyway cut out. Seen right there. Runs the full length of the part. Pretty painless. Takes about five minutes if uh, doing it continuous. Anyhow, kind of cute, cute, kind of clever. Uh, anybody can broach. Like I said, these are about sixty bucks. Uh, again, for this piece and this piece through McMaster Car. Uh, there's about a dozen places online you can buy them from. The trick to this assembly is things have to be rigid. I won't show you the first one I did because it exploded in pieces uh, using the 2010 press, Harbor Freight 2010 press that I have. There's just too many moving parts, too much room for air. Fortunately, no one's hurt because it was a pretty impressive explosion. So, uh, can't you see my version here, which is completely overkill. Definitely rigid, not going anywhere, but uh, I have about 200 of these to do, so it has to be something that uh, will work well for me. Anyhow, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you got any questions, check out the website, swagoffroad.com. Thank you. Bye.